This is my Sequential Profit VS Rack. There are many like it, although not very many, but this one is mine. It has certain problems. First of all, the little handle on the slider here is broken. The display has become dim and difficult to read and also makes kind of a high-pitched whining sound. And of course, like a lot of old equipment, there's a hum coming from the power supply area. Today, I would like to fix at least two of those issues. When disassembling something, I like to look at some YouTube videos first, watching people disassemble it, but I can't seem to find any, so I'm going to have to wing it. Let's see what happens when I take out these screws. Ah, there's a ribbon cable here that I'm going to need to detach to lift up this lid. So this is the board on the lid that flipped up. You'll see it has a bunch of connectors here. There's two CEM5530 multiplex sample and hold chips in the Profit VS design. One of these apparently went bad at some point and was replaced by Wine County, which was a company that, that took over servicing sequential equipment after the original sequential company folded. This is a board they made that essentially replicates the functionality of that 5530. Ah, it's dusty in here. I'll clean some of that up before closing this up. Let's see, the hum in the power supply could be the transformer going bad, or it could be some other parts, maybe like these capacitors that are putting strain on the transformer. Not sure how motivated I feel to work on that. There are some companies that sell some replacement power supplies, but it does involve a lot of work on the board. That battery makes me nervous, but I don't see any signs of leaking. So I'll probably leave that well enough alone. It's funny that there's some parts of the board that are just not populated. I wonder if they use the same board design in both the keyboard and the rack version. And maybe this is stuff associated with the keyboard that they just don't need in the rack version. That's just a guess. But what I really need to get to is this front panel. Let's see. The slider's here, and the display is up here with the connector here. So I'm going to disconnect this ribbon cable. Okay, ribbon cable disconnected. Got these knobs taken off. On each side, there's these screws. Let's see what happens when I take these off. Okay, I got the panel off. There's also a cable here that needs disconnected. And here's what a Profit VS rack looks like with its front panel off. Wow, that's dusty. I'll clean that up. Okay, now it looks like I've got one, two, three, four, five, six screws I need to take off to actually get the front panel off of the front panel board. Ugh. Okay, to get the whole thing out, I need to disconnect this too. And I need to remove these nuts. Okay, this is to remind myself that this connects to this one here on the left, the way I'm facing it here, not the one on the right. And I need to disconnect this here, the joystick bit. I don't believe this. I think I have to take this out too because I cannot get this board out of here with all of this. It's just like a millimeter clearance missing. Ugh. Actually, no. I'm a little scared of messing with the joystick assembly, so let me instead take this guy off. Yeah, so there's the cartridge slot board. Okay, so here's the front of the front panel board. Let me tackle the slider here first. Okay, I managed to get it out of there without lifting any of the traces or melting this guy here. I hope the new slider fits. Okay, new slider soldered in. This is juice to the backlight, which we don't need anymore, so I'm gonna clip these. Okay, the instructions say to remove transistor T002 that's hooked to the backlight transformer. And let's see, here's my backlight transformer and he's 
and here is T002, so let me clip that out. Now we don't need this backlight transformer anymore, but I don't think it hurts to leave it there, so I'm just going to leave it there. There's nothing in the instructions about having to remove that. Okay, it looks like they want me to desolder here. I'm not sure why I bothered, because you're inevitably going to have to replace the header anyway. Okay, I got the old header out, and I'm about to solder the new header in. Okay, got that soldered in. Okay, the instructions say to get rid of the original washers and use their washers instead, so I'm going to do that. Okay, this is interesting. If you drop this in, there's two pins on the new display that are not connected to the Profit VS. There's two more pins than there were on the original display. So I don't think I need to worry about that. If you look at this on the other side, you'll see it's numbered oddly. There's 1 through 14, and then there's a 15 and 16 just kind of hanging out by themselves. So I think that's okay. Oh, yeah, and I see they're just not connected here in the instructions. Okay, it's soldering time. Okay. I soldered this in. By force of habit, I started to solder this, but I didn't need to. Okay, let's get this back together. Okay, so I got the front panel put back together. There's my joystick. Okay, so now I got the front panel put back on here. So now I need to connect this and connect this and be careful to line up the pins correctly. Because if I get these pins messed up, I'm going to fry a whole bunch of stuff. And I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have that lined up correctly. And I've got this plugged in down here. Okay, now I need to connect this so I can close the lid. And I need to be very careful to get the pins lined up correctly or I will fry things. You know what? I also need to make sure this is going the correct direction. So I think it goes like this, but let me check the video from earlier. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, yeah! Look at that! Oh, slider. Slider! I have this gorgeous blue display. And a working slider. Oh, that worked. Okay. Just need to get these screws back in and the screws for the sides of the front panels back in. Oh, okay, I'm so incredibly happy. I'm so happy. Yay. Let's look at different programs. There we go. Okay, there is that hum from the power supply, but you know what? I think I can live with that for now. Because I'm not getting that high-pitched whine anymore, so that high-pitched whine must have been from the old display. Okay, so I put the knobs back on and the screws back on, and then I wondered what to do about the slider here, and I remembered that I have this... Profit VS Rack Mount Survival Kit that I got when I bought this from Wine Country Productions. And it has a special SCI chip, so that's important to make sure we hold on to that. Anyway, it included this guy here. So let's put this on here. There we go. All right. Let me select something that could use some sort of... Uh, Filter cutoff, how about that? All right, we're in business. I am so happy that this is working.